When I was in ninth grade, one of the things about entering high school that I was most excited about was finally being able to ask girls to dances as an official date. Two reasons why this was significant. Number one, my middle school dances didn't allow dates. I don't know, maybe they thought that the kids were too young and they were afraid that they get all freaky on the dance floor. So all those dances just ended up being the awkward kind where all the guys stood on one side and the girls on another and each time you wanted to dance, you had to make that treacherous march over to the other side and ask. Number two, my parents were strict as heck. No dating till you're married. So for sure there was no dating in junior high. So finally, I reached high school. I was practically a grown up. I was a man. And it was time for this man to get a date, a dance partner for the whole night, and finally live out all my teen movie falling in love fantasies. Luckily, my parents were cool with me at least being social. So now I had an excuse. Hey mom, everyone has to go with someone. I have to have a date. That's my puberty voice. Along comes the first semi-formal dance of the year, homecoming. I've been ready for this one since the 7th grade, and I knew exactly who I wanted to ask. A girl I had a crush on since the 7th grade. Let's call her Tanya. Tanya and I were friends. I mean, I was actually never totally sure if she knew that I was crushing on her the last couple years. But if she knew, she did a pretty dang good job hiding it, like most girls do. Because we were pretty cool buddies. She was going to be my first date ever. I picked Friday for when to ask her just to give her the weekend to think about it or to give me time to heal if she rejected me. <laughs> the moment of truth came. We were walking alone to our lockers after class. Uh, uh, and I chickened out. I was just way too nervous. But no worries, Phil. It's your first time. Ask her at lunch. Nope, didn't happen. Okay, fine. You have last period with her. You better do it. This is what you've been training for. Uh, uh, still couldn't get those words out. And don't judge. I don't think most girls understand how terrifying it is at that age to ask a girl out. I was still watching Pokemon. You expect me to know how to woo a girl? Come on. It all came down to the very end of the day. I pushed it to the very end. This was it. I found her at her locker. I finally asked her to homecoming. And then, she says no. Well, not exactly a flat out no. She actually said, I don't know if I'm gonna go, so you should just ask someone else, okay? What a cop out. I took it like a champ though, played it off cool, but inside I was dying. She even said that she'd help me find someone else to ask. Wow, thanks? Unfortunately, this is not where the story ends. See, I did end up asking someone else, another girl who I was friends with, and she was a great date. We had an awesome time, I think. I mean, I bought the ticks, got her a corsage, went to dinner, and it was off to the dance. And who do I see there? Tanya. And no. She's not with someone else. She's by herself. She'd rather go alone than go with me. A non-date trumped me. Air was better company than me. I was crushed. And she looked like she was enjoying herself. And that was the first time I ever asked a girl to a dance. What? Oh no, I don't have a lesson for this story. It just sucked. It's been how many years and I still remember. That's all. Anyway, I think we're going to try and do some of these kinds of videos once in a while, if you guys like them, that is. We've got some stories from our Ox Mirrors, and maybe it'll help some of you to know that we went through them, and still turn out okay. Well, sort of. <laughs> Tanya! See you later. <laughs>